In this video we're going to take a look at graphing equations with a limited domain. Well, first of all, there's a slight difference and the big difference between just graphing equations and then graphing equations with a limited domain is the fact that with the limited domain we're not going to connect the dots because with the limited domain those are the only x values we can use. Once we get the graph made, I'll talk a little bit more about that, but it's going to be just a series of points rather than a line that where we connect the dots. So our process, remember the domain is the set of all the x values, so these are the x values that we're given that we're to use to come up with our y values and thus our ordered pairs that we can graph. So let's just go ahead and make a little t-chart here. Or a, a chart. I'll make mine a little bit bigger so that we can put the work in here as well. Okay, so I'll put my x values right here. We have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 in this case. And then right here I'll do the work, and then over here we'll put the final y value that we get. Okay, so in this case we have the absolute value of x minus 6. So I'm going to put in negative 2 for x, so it's going to be the absolute value of negative 2 minus 6. Well the absolute value of negative 2 is just going to be 2, so this becomes 2 minus 6, which is negative 4. Okay, so then let's go ahead and do that next one. Put in negative 1, so the absolute value of negative 1 minus 6 equals, that becomes 1, so 1 minus 6, and of course 1 minus 6 would be negative 5. Alright, next one, just plug in this stuff in again, so put in the 0 for the x, so the absolute value of 0 minus 6, absolute value of 0 is just 0 minus 6 would be negative 6, then put in 1, so we have the absolute value of 1, and be careful with those absolute values. I always try and make mine extra long so it's clear that it's not like 111 sitting there. Be careful with that. So we have the absolute value of 1 minus 6, which is 1 again. So 1 minus 6 is negative 5. And then finally, the absolute value of 2 minus 6. That's just 2 minus 6, which is again negative 4. Okay, so then I have five ordered pairs that I can graph here. So it's negative 2, negative 4. So to graph those, of course, negative 2 takes me back here 2, and then negative 4 takes me down 4. Put that point right there. Next one, negative 1, negative 5. So negative 1, negative 5 puts me right there. Next one, 0, negative 6, so 0 left or right and down 6 puts me right there. Then we go to 1, negative 5, so over 1, down 5, boom, right there we are. And finally 2, negative 4, right there we are. Now, our immediate reaction is typically to connect the dots, but the reason that we don't want to connect the dots in this situation is because we're limited to this domain. If I were to connect the dots, that would be saying that all the values in between there are defined as well, but they're not. We don't have, for example, if I connected this and drew it out here, 3 would be an x value that would be on that graph, but it's not a part of the domain. So we don't want to connect the dots in these situations where we have a limited domain, but otherwise it works just like graphing that we've done at other times. So let's take a look at another example of this, see if we can take a look at this one. All right, here we have x equals, um, let me change colors here, x equals uh, 2x plus 3, and then here's my domain, given four values again. So I'm just going to make a little chart here, we'll fill this stuff in. So we have our x, we'll put the work in the middle, we have our y over here, then, so I'm going to put in negative 4, let me just put all these x values in here first, 0, 2, 
Okay, so it's going to be 2 times x, that first x, remember the domain is a set of the x's, is negative 4, and then plus 3. So 2 times negative 4 would be negative 8 plus 3, and negative 8 plus 3 would be negative 5. Okay, next one, negative 2, so 2 times negative 2 plus 3. 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4 plus 3, which is negative 1. All right, next one, put in 0, so 2 times 0 plus 3, so we have 2 times 0 is 0, plus 3 would be just 3. There we are. And finally, put in 2, so 2 times 2 plus 3, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay, so then we go ahead and graph those ordered pairs. So here we go. Negative 4, negative 5 is the first one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Puts me right there for my first point. Next one, negative 2, negative 1. So back 2, down 1 puts me right there. Then we go to 0, 3. So 0, up 3. And finally, we go to 2, 7. So over 2, that was 3. So 4, 5, 6, 7 puts me right there. Now, notice the points are in a line, but again, I don't want to connect them because we're limited to this domain. If I were to connect the dots here, that would say that, oh, 1 is in the domain, too, and all the values between there are in the domain, but they're not. So be careful of that. Be on the lookout for these limited domains. Also, just a, a note here, and it's not maybe quite as clear in this one as it is in the first one that we did, so let me flip back there. Notice the pattern here. And sometimes... I see people that will bounce back and forth and not do these in order and I would strongly encourage you to do them in order because then you should notice a pattern in the y values. In this case we had the 6 in the middle and the negative 5 on either side and the negative 4 and that's that V shape that we would expect to see in an absolute value. So we see all those things fit together. If we got some value that was off Oh, that didn't fit the pattern, that would be a hint to us, ooh, we better double check that. And here there's a pattern as well, maybe not quite as clear since we're going by twos, but notice how we're going up by four each time. So we do see that there's a pattern there as well. So do yourself a favor and put those x values in order, keep them in order, so that you can potentially recognize a pattern and it's a nice little kind of a safety net, a little double check there. So graphing equations with a limited domain means simply that we're given some x values. Remember the domain is the set of the x values that we're going to plug into our function, whatever it is, our, our equation. And then once we get our ordered pairs, graph it up. But remember, don't connect the dots because we're limited and if we do connect the dots that's saying we have all these other values in the domain as well which is not true hope this video was helpful keep working hard on your math you can do it